Alright, this is the Tony X GitHub. It's the easiest place to download from. Hit the international. Okay, if 1.2.2 is out by then, use that. Right click it, extract here. It'll extract to a folder. Use image burn. You're gonna hit that little folder icon with the magnifying glass. Once you click that, you'll see file browser. Go to your downloads and then in your downloads go to the ROM folder inside Tony Hex International. Find the Q folder. Click open on the Q folder. If you can, you're going to want to do 1x or the slowest speed you can write at. And then click that image. It says burn to CD. So it's going to be Tony Hacks ROM flasher in the ROM folder. This icon burns the CD. And then write at the slowest speed possible, 1x, if your CD burner can do it. Now, if you've done a swap trick before, you can do that to boot up the CD. You're going to want to put the CD in your PlayStation. You're also going to want to install a 128-bit parallel port cheat card, Action Replay Game Shark. Make sure that's seated correctly. Mine's all labeled up. Put the ROM flasher in. Um, the way I'm going to get into the console is free PSX boot. Um, my other video demos of this. I use slot 2. You Basically, all you do is you can look up a how-to how to do this, but you just look up your console type, and it tells you what image you need. You can use Uniram as well and make one with Uniram or a PlayStation 2. You can also order one on eBay or Amazon, I believe. This will allow you to run Homebrew or if you have a modded console even. And then you can use that console to make one for an unmodded console. So anyway, you just need a way into the console. That will allow you to boot this so you can flash one of these cards. Okay, in case your card boots into the Game Shark, I'm gonna show you how to add it after the NV flash starts. That way you can get into it. Um, because if the cart boots first, you won't be able to flash. So with Tony Hack Slot 2 Free PSX boot in, tray open, you hit X on memory card. That's going to start the t t regular Tony Hacks. Free PSX boot up. Close the lid. That's going to start up Tony Hex International Flasher. It takes a second. That's the thing about the memory card exploit, it takes a little longer. Okay, so there's some options here. And I'm going to install the cheat cart now. It's not in the back just in case you know you have a cheat cart that you can't turn the switch down on or it auto boots into the cheat cart OS. Alright so I just plugged it in now and there's an option here where it's gonna rescan 
the it's O. Oh, see how it says reset? So we hit O. Oh. Okay. That was a boo boo. Do not hit O. Oh. <laughs> it is. It's R2. So that's this button right here, this bumper. You hit R2, and you can see now it says 128K. It'll say whatever yours is, it will say that. So you can put the card in first. You know, this putting the card in after this starts, you only need to do this if your switch, when it's down, um, doesn't turn off the cheat card. So it was, that's only in that case. So that's this switch right here. You know, on mine it doesn't matter because it was cleared. I had, I'd wiped this card in the past, so this card had nothing on it, so I can keep it in. So this is a custom version of Envy Flash that has the, you know, Tony Hacks International Loader already built into it. And if you see on the bottom left, it says hit start to flash from EEPROM. Hit start. Okay, interesting. It did not like that I demoed for you guys that switch, so I would not play with that switch. Um, I was just showing you guys about the switch before you turn the console on. But anyway, just hit start. That'll start the flashing process. And it, it asks you to select a ROM. There only is one ROM because this one's been preloaded with Tony X International. Hit X. It's flashing the EEPROM to the flash cart. And it's done. Now, you have a soft modded cheat cart. And as long as you leave this in your console, you no longer need this. This is slower, inferior soft mod. So let's demo it and make sure it's working. We're going to take the flasher out. Let's try something. Um, that's something you can't even play normally on a... Yeah, we'll try this. I call this game Poppy. I can't pronounce it correctly. It's an English translation of a Japanese RPG. It was a really good sound. Um, not only is it an import, it is a ROM hack as well. I'm going to put it in the console. Hit the reset button, see if it boots. And it's working. It doesn't say Tony Hacks anymore, it says Tony Hacks International. And it boots up right away. It's a lot faster than. And the lid can be closed. You don't have to leave the lid open and go into, you know the memory card every time. No mod chip on this console, just the parallel port chi card plugged into the back. So you can see it says game region Japanese. So this console normally couldn't even play this game for two reasons, you know. Jet and ROM hack. Sony Entertainment. And another thing about this game is Unirom will not boot it because of the type of uh, copy protection it uses. So Tony Hex has one up on Unirom in this specific game. There's about a dozen games that uh, Unirom doesn't support. Tony Hex does. So yeah, that's how you flash a cheat cart with Tony Hex International.